Brian back here with a look at my row. All right, I got some uh, interesting stuff to show you guys here on this chart today. All right, number one, looks like we're forming a head and shoulders in here. Okay, uh, you can see left shoulder, head, right shoulder forming here. Um, going to show you what that means here in a second. Give you some price targets for this thing and... Uh, and you know and what could happen here okay nothing is a hundred percent never is but um you know put everything together and uh and and things start to add up right here's caspa starting to finally pop here i just did a caspa video looks like this thing might be starting to wave three if it is this thing's going to start moving pretty fast okay um beam i cover beam quite a bit that's up a little bit today other than that not a whole lot out here that i that i uh cover on my videos myro rank number 303 let's take a look here uh volume 30 million over the last 24 hours market cap 215 million ranked at number 303 up one spot okay if we come over here and take a look real quick at Bitcoin, you can see it's approaching the upper top of this wedge again. All right, you can see the fake out right here. Uh, big green candle, bull, uh, bearish engulfing candle suck that right up. Probably trapping some longs up here, you know, and then come back down. Um, you know, obviously people take shorts, they think it's going down the other way, and it starts back up and takes them out. So, typical Bitcoin stuff here. On the daily, you can see that RSI is a little weak. I think it's just because of this here. I'm sure that's probably going to straighten back up. The three day uh, is bullish, heading straight up. You got your 12 hour uh, turning back up. You can see the curve on it here down here on the regular RSI that thing is heading uh, straight back up here okay so looks like Bitcoin's ready to make a move it's getting right near the top of that wedge now okay just about uh, just about there okay so I'm, I am expecting this thing to break back out the top now if we come over to my row here got some interesting things going on here okay number one let's go out on a 12-hour chart all right if we measure this out uh, with the Fibonacci first. Okay, let's take the Fib, put it on top here, pull it down. All right, we ended up coming up and hitting that 702. A 618 or 702, that's your danger zone. All right, if you get rejected in that area, you can see what happened. We got rejected, we rolled right back down over here. Okay, that usually means uh, an ABC or it's going to give it a second run and try to break it. Okay, what I see happening here, uh, if we pull this down on top. Let's make sure we get it right where we want it here, okay? ABC. That's going to pull it down towards this area down here, okay? Right down at about 10.8, okay? Now let me show you how the, why this makes sense. All right, let's put a price label here once. Okay, now if we go out on a monthly chart, All right, this is just a, a random measurement here of a, not really a random measurement. It's a uh, measurement with the fib, which would be an A, a B, and a C. Now, does this area down here make any kind of sense whatsoever? Okay, if we go out on a monthly chart and we take a look here, sure enough, we have monthly support right here right at that same exact area okay now uh weekly rsi we don't have one a daily daily is rolling over okay uh the daily's rolling over there the 12 hour uh still coming down the three day uh is still correcting all right and uh you do have uh your 12 the eight is right at the bottom heading up okay so you could get about you could get a temporary bounce out of here i'm not saying you're not going to you know this thing could bounce up but the main warning sign that this abc is coming in is right here okay if it takes out this price right here okay 
which is at 19.2, okay? If it takes that out, then it's it's coming down here, all right? Then this, uh, then this head and shoulders is going to play out. The head and shoulders is a bearish formation, all right? You normally take the, uh, the top of the head to the, to the neckline to get your... Uh, uh, your target for this thing so if we take the top of the head to the neckline neckline is somewhere down there pull this down you know you're looking about the same exact uh, same exact target you know oh not only for the head and shoulders but also for the ABC all right now if it does not take out this level here there's a possibility that it holds okay and makes a run up my bet is it it's coming down okay that that's just the way uh you know it, you see a head and shoulders you see a 702 fibonacci rejection um that head and shoulders the measurement of the head and shoulders equals the same length as the c wave which comes in right with a weekly support which uh which kind of makes me think that uh that it's coming down there now this is not financial advice guys please don't go sell all your myro just because what i say all right i've been wrong before with myro um i could be wrong again okay that that's just the way it goes you don't nail every single one okay but from what i'm seeing in this thing don't be shocked okay pay very very close attention to that 19 uh what is that 19 19 cent area 19 one you know if it breaks 19 cents then uh there's a very very high possibility it's coming down here to right right around 10 8 okay and once we hit that we would get a massive massive bounce back out of here okay then this thing would really really start tearing okay it's just done nothing but uh you know ever since we hit this top up here just been uh been pulling back you know we're down from the top uh roughly 50 percent you know and if we pull down here that's that's 75 percent wow that's pretty deep okay um definitely definitely pretty deep you know if we take a trend line and start it back here you know that would make sense wouldn't it look at that you know this would be your bull run trend line right down through here you know you got three things pointing to this direction all right so will it come will it come to fruition we'll just have to wait and find out obviously um we'll see what happens here but you got your bull bull run trend line started right here upward trajectory uh, you're going to get corrections. That's just the way the market rolls uh, at some point. And uh, if it comes down here to 10.8, expect a massive bounce out of here afterwards. All right. I, I think this thing has got a lot higher to go this bull run. If you can get a buy down here, you know, if you're looking to get into Miro, then pray for this area. Okay. Um, hope for it all right because if it comes down here I'm loading up no question about it that, that would be a very very good spot and if you're interested guys in a level 3 membership for $14.99 we have over 200 members to, oh, to 22 videos over nine hours of videos to teach you how to do this stuff right here okay plus a link to our discord membership where we trade a lot over there um it's worth 14.99 guys you got to learn to do this stuff for the bull run right you're going to want to know your price targets where you where you want to sell uh you're going to want to know all that stuff for 15 bucks if i can uh uh, you know uh, gain you a lot of knowledge then it, it's well worth it okay um, you know consider it uh, over 200 members now and this looks like a perfect head and shoulders in here it really does I mean it sticks right out anybody at charts and and doesn't see that then uh, you know um, I'd, I'd be really shocked all right so all right thank you so much guys i hope you have a fantastic day please hit the like and subscribe and if we get this price down here like i said i'm loading up on my road because this bounce out of here is going to be epic all right thanks a lot and have a great day